Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and in today's video I'm going to be telling you about an upcoming series on my channel. Not only how you can be involved in inspiring me, but how you can play along. While I do that, I'm going to be showing you the process of an inspired card that I'm going to create. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. If you've been around my channel very long, you know that I love to be inspired by other creators. I think no matter where we're at in our crafting journey, whether it's the beginning or we've been doing it for years, or what medium we choose to use or our style, that we can inspire and be inspired by others. Not only did I used to have a monthly collaboration dedicated to Oh So Inspired, I currently get together with my sister and or my best crafty friend, Danny for an Oh So Inspired live series on my channel. And we do just that. We select a piece each time and we create a new project based upon that in some way. Now, if you're watching this video on the day that it comes out, we actually have another Oh So Inspired Live tonight. I will have that video linked in the description box below so you can set a reminder. And I will also have the Oh So Inspired Live playlist linked below. In case you haven't checked that out before, you can watch the replays. I decided for the month of September that I would do Oh So Inspired September. And I will tell you more about how you can do it later, but I would like you to submit possible inspiration pieces for the series. Now, one of the reasons I am doing this is just about every September, I stop by and I do like a shop your stash or a use your stash September just to revisit what I own and get it out and use it. Now, last year I did this because I was trying to stop spending in preparation for Stamp Joy, and this year it's kind of for the same reason. I will be attending Stamp Joy 2022 in Des Moines in October, and I really want to save my fun crafty money so that when I'm there, I can go ahead and spend and get some new goodies. But that means that this month, I need to use what I have. So I thought it would be a fun challenge for myself and you if you're interested in joining to use what we have. Any projects that I create for this series, I will only use items from my stash. And I bet there are going to be many of those that I haven't ever used before. Let me know below if you have goodies in your stash that need to be used for the first time. Before I tell you more about the series, I thought I should tell you a little bit about the card that I'm being inspired to create. Up on screen now is a look at the pin that I chose for today's card. It is just from one of my own personal Pinterest boards. And what I liked about this were the little splotches of color kind of along the edge of the card and the little sentiment strip. So I think as you watch the process of this video, you'll see how I was inspired. I will have this pin as well as the corresponding blog post linked in the description box below if you would like to check it out. As for the products that I am using, the main ones are from my favorite things and that is the stencil, the stamps, and the dies. And even though these are new to my stash, I am famous for buying lots of new stuff and never using it. So I thought today's card would be a perfect chance to get those out right away and get them inked up and stenciled. 
If you would like details on any of the specific items you see me use today, I will link what I can find in that description box below. Now let me tell you how you can inspire me during this series. If you join us for Oh So Inspired Lives, you know that the pieces we pick for inspiration are submitted by my die cut and paper trimmer level members. Well, for this special series, I am allowing all of my subscribers to submit possible inspiration pieces for me to use in September. Now, how you're going to do this is by filling out a Google form, which I will have linked in that description box below. Up on screen now is a look at the form you'll fill out. At the top are the basic guidelines for submitting. You will want to read through those carefully, but it is pretty much one submission per subscriber up until September 15th. And please make sure that every link that you submit is from a public site. Please do not use pictures from private Facebook groups or private Instagram accounts, etc. Also, please do only link to photos, no videos. I do just want to be able to look at it quickly and then figure out how I'm going to be inspired. When you fill out the form, any field with an asterisk does need to be filled out. On your YouTube username, make sure to put the name that shows up when you leave a comment. If you're not sure about that, you could always go comment on a video and come back and fill out the form. Then I would like your first name just so I can use that in the video. And then you're going to link to the inspiration piece. So you'll see here if I go grab the link from the Pinterest pin and then I can just copy and paste it there or from the blog post, I could do the same. Now the next question, I'm gonna give you the option to say yes or no. And that is if you would like me to send the project that I create if your inspiration piece is chosen. Now you can click on no and then just go and submit the form or you can click on yes and it will take you to another section in the form. Now for this, I do need your full mailing address and the very first thing I ask for is an email address and that is just in case I come up with any questions that I might have about your mailing address. If you are international, make sure to include the country name and I know that like city, state, zip might not necessarily be the same formatting for your country. Just if you could try to fill it out like what should be on each line of the envelope. Then once you've done that, you'll click submit and then it will be ready for possible use in September. I'm not really sure right now how many videos this series will have. It just kind of depends how busy September gets, but I do hope to be here with 10 to 15 videos using your inspiration pieces. What I am also hoping is that you might decide to play along, whether it's with one of them or all of them. I would love to see how you're inspired by the pieces that are chosen. So for each one, I will have some special hashtags you can use. If you want to do a video here on YouTube or post on Instagram or TikTok. So like up on screen now is an example of what they would look like. And that second one, instead of having the number at the end, it would change to whatever number challenge it is. Another way to play along would be over in the Facebook group. I do have a special album there. Here now is a look at what that album will look like. And you'll notice it's within the media tab and then within the albums tab. Please make sure when you upload your photo that you include your YouTube username and which challenge it is for. You'll see here over on the right in the description box what I have put for the challenge. Now, one thing to make sure, please do not submit your photos to the discussion tab or in comments. They will not be approved or they will be deleted if they sneak through. I do want to make sure that we have just one place to go to see how everyone has been inspired. There won't be a prize or incentive for playing along. It is just so you can get out your goodies and use them. But I do hope that you will decide to join me. If you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can.
I hope you enjoyed learning about my upcoming series and seeing how I was inspired to create this Hello card. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. I can't wait to see what you guys have in store for me in September. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.